you may remember the methods of undetermined coefficients from a previous calculus course. It was used to find a particular solution of a second order linear differential equation by guessing the correct form of the solution. If you were able to guess this form, form correctly, this method worked really well. For non-homogeneous systems of differential equations, we can try the same trick. If we can guess the correct form of the particular solution, as in this video, you will see that this method again works really well. So what is our problem? x prime equals a times x plus some rubbish, some non-homogeneous part with the a over here, same as in the previous video. So we know eigenvalues, we know eigenvectors. Uh, we learned in the linear algebra course how to do this. So we have our homogeneous solution c1 v1 e to the power lambda 1t plus c2 v2 e to the power lambda 2t. So that's the homogeneous part. That is fine. How do we find a, a particular solution? So how do we deal with the non-homogeneous part? Well, we have something of the form uh, a vector times t. So what would be a good trial solution as a particular solution? Some unknown vector times t. Well, if we're going to differentiate that, we will get constant factors. So some other unknown fa uh, constant factor is added. So our particular solution will some unknown factor be some unknown factor times t plus some other unknown vector. And we will call these unknown vectors a and b. Now, how, what do we do? First we compute the x prime particular. Well, then the b drops out and here we are only left with a. And this is equal to a times x particular plus this part here, this non-homogeneous part. Now we are going to compare uh, the terms with and without t. So terms uh, without t are the a here and the a times b over there. So there we are. And the terms uh, with a t, here we have a 0, here we have a times a, and here we have the vector 0, 3. Now, if we look at those two equations, we have to solve a equals a times b, but we do not know a and we also do not know b. And we have to solve 0 vector equals a times a plus 0, 3. And in the second equation, there is only one unknown vector, a. So we start with that one. So we have matrix a times unknown vector a equals, bring the 0, 3 to the other side, 0 minus 3. And then we can solve for a, okay, you can do row reduction, but well, it's only two by two case, so let's just use the inverse. So a is the inverse of this matrix, a times this zero minus three. And we can compute this minus two times zero plus minus one times minus three equals three. Divided by three gives you a one. And minus one times zero plus minus two times minus three is six. Divided by three gives you a two. So there we have our vector a equals one, two. Moving on to this problem here, now we know a, so we can find our vector b. Again, use the inverse, we already have it. So our b is the same inverse times 1, 2. Uh, and uh, we can compute this straightforwardly as 1 third times minus 4 minus 5. So there we have our particular solution, uh, a times t plus our vector b, which we just determined. And our total solution, you also know it, our total solution is the sum of the homogeneous solution plus the particular solution, homogeneous solution there, particular solution over here. So there we go. There we have the solution of our non-homogeneous problem.